Hello, my name is Blake within the Hyperloop, and today in this news pod is a whole bunch of different news from Hyperloop companies to SpaceX pod competition teams, so uh, buckle up. Uh, first is this really interesting Radio Krakow um, podcast, it's all on Polish, um, about uh, Hyperpolans and uh, what they're planning to launch uh, really soon and uh, how it will change uh, life within Poland and the goals of Hyperpoland. So check it out. Unfortunately, it's all in Polish, uh, but uh, give, it a, give it a tweet. Um, and I, I hope uh, we hear more articles and news stories from Hyperpoland as they have some pretty big news coming up uh, in that they're testing their technology live to the public. So uh, next, uh, Eurotube, together with our partner SBB, uh, we, rec we welcome 200 of their employees for a presentation about the efforts of vacuum transportation in Switzerland. We also invited University Team Swiss Loop and ETH Hyperloop um, and EPFL uh, uh, to join and share the work. So that's great to see um, Eurotube uh, bringing all these different uh, companies together. Um, and then we are again hearing more news stories from Virgin Hyperloop's One Roadshow. Um, at the Triangle Summit. Um, this is just really kind of fun to see Virgin Hyper One bringing their pod across the country um, and showing off uh, their, their technology and you know, how it could affect regions. Um, we have also seen um, kind of uh, brand new news that Virgin Hyper One is looking for regions for certification track. So um, we're going to stay tuned for that. Um, next, SwissPod uh, uh, was interviewed um, uh, by uh, Brains Minds, Brand Minds, um, and Dennis Tudor gave a really kind of interesting interview, so I'd highly recommend you check that out. Um, again, SwissPod is also making news in that uh, Dennis will be at TEDx um, Switzerland, so we're looking forward and uh, good luck with that. Um, Swiss Loop um, is also um, presenting um, through their sponsor Crown Montana um, uh, different uh, thoughts about their experience with Hyperloop and the SpaceX pod competition uh, challenge. So good job um, and keep it up. Um, Zelleros um, is pushing out uh, that you should go vote for them in the Innovet award ceremony and uh, Zelleros is represented by David so go vote for him and there's some information about Zelleros um, on their website about what their technology is, the societal impact, their unique selling points um, and just kind of you know where they're going um, in the future but also there's another Hyperloop um, uh, Tim Houtner from Heart Hyperloop is also uh, representing um, in the same uh, award and uh, check out uh, Heart Hyperloop information um, and kind of you know how they're approaching um, this new technology and so go vote for either one <laughs> um, uh, it's gonna be closing soon and we hope Hyperloop is represented in the final round um, next SpaceX Hyperloop pod competition team Hyperloop UC uh, has had a, a couple events and they're bringing out their pod trying to recruit um, and uh, you know doing a really good job um, putting putting out information Delft Hyperloop um, is also working hard and was interviewed um, or sorry gave TEDx talk uh, so I'd really recommend uh, you check it out um, and we're just gonna kind of scroll to the middle and give a tubes of the Hyperloop are two and a half centimeters thick, two and a half centimeters of steel. And this way we ensure that the tubes are safe and that they can withstand buckling from the huge uh, pressure differences as well as from external factors such as different types of weather and climate. If you look at the operating pressure of Hyperloop, you can see that it operates roughly between 30 to 200 pascals. And as you can see, this is a range. So instead of operating in a fixed pressure, Hyperloop operates in a variable soft pressure. 
and this, this is that you can more technical than we've ever seen the air pressure according to your travel demand so for example if the travel demand is very high which happens during peak hours then you would lower the air pressure in the tubes whereas if fewer pulses could travel increasing the pressure would be more efficient and this way uh, using this variable soft vacuum principle we can ultimately reduce the total amount of energy we use making Hyperloop a very flexible and efficient mode of transportation. So definitely watch this whole talk and support uh, Delft Hyperloop, follow them on social media uh, because they've done a really good job um, with Hyperloop Connected, a website that also shares information about Hyperloop. So good job, Delft Hyperloop, keep it up. Uh, and again, they put out a group photo, um, which is kind of funny because it's on a pier uh, that everybody is balancing and um, their motto, go faster, no pressure, uh, was modified as go faster, no peer pressure. So that's hilarious, keep it up. Um, also we're seeing uh, different groups take different group photos. Uh, this one uh, just happened of C CPP, Hyperloop, Cal Poly, Pomona, Hyperloop. Um, so good job to them. and. You know, they're making uh, great videos of women are hyped in the Hyperloop um, and really going out there into the community just to recruit. So that's great. Um, Rice Hyperloop released this video about breaking prototype, taking shape. The system will be used to test the pneumatic actuation of our braking array, which will stop the pod 300, uh, from, you know, from 300 plus miles an hour. The open design allows us to tinker and make quick changes. So good job. Good to see that happening. And then Hyperloop Sweden um, is working hard with some press uh, and they're trying to uh, create an association that coordinates the Hyperloop activities at university, find interest in Hyperloop challenges and topics that need to be addressed. So contact info at hyperloopsweden.se. Um, so that's good if you're in Sweden. Um, and they've also released a couple photos um, when they went and attended uh, an exhibit at Nordic Rail 2019. So good job. Um, and did an interview um, with other companies. And you can see Hyperloop Sweden over there in the bottom left. Um, so yeah, exciting. Future of Nordic Transport. Um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please feel free to share. Um, there's a lot of news happening and it's going to increase. So stay in the Hyperloop and have a good day.